So in this lesson, we're going to talk about principal values, uh, principal values for sine, cosine, and tangent. And I have a few notes here. It says uh, the values on the unit circle that are closest to zero. And so the principal values are, are exactly that. They're the, when you're finding an angle and you use inverse sine, inverse cosine, inverse tangent, those are the ones that are closest to zero are the principal values. And they're the ones that your calculator gives. So the calculator knows to give the principal values. We'll talk about which ones those are here in this lesson. And one thing I want to point out first is that to know that you're doing principal values, if you notice, we've got a capital letter here. So capital sine or capital C cosine or capital T tangent, uh, those say give me the principal values. Also, sometimes you'll see arc cos, arc sine, arc tan with a capital A. Those are also saying give me the principal values. So these things, if, if you're not sure, arc cos is the exact same thing as cosine inverse. It's just a, a different notation. Some textbooks use one, some use the other. All right, so let's get into this first example. Uh, cosine theta equals one half. And so what we know about the unit circle is that the cosine is the x value on the unit circle. And so we want to know when is the x value equal to one half. So what I do is I go over one half in the x direction and I figure out which triangles or triangle will make this true. And so this one would be my 30, 60, 90 triangle as a hypotenuse of one. And so this would be at 60 degrees, the cosine of theta equals one half. So theta equals 60 degrees. It also is true at 300. The x value at 300 is also 1 half. So theta could be 60 or it could be 300. So for principal values, if I wrote the capital C cosine inverse of 1 half, the answer I would give is the one closest to 0, which is 60. And so this will be 60 degrees. 300 is 240 degrees further away from 0 than 60, because if we are rotating, 60 comes first, and then to get to 300, we have to go another 240 degrees. So even though it looks like it's the same distance away, it's actually further away than 60. So the principal value would be 60, and we'll talk more detail about this as the video goes on. So then let's look at what if the sine of theta equals 1 half. And let me get rid of this green stuff here. And we'll transition over to orange for sine. So the sine is when the y is 1 half. So what I do is I go up 1 half in the y direction. And I look at which triangles are going to make that happen. Well, it's going to be this triangle. This would be at 30 degrees, or this triangle, and this would be at 150 degrees. So this sine of theta equals 1 half, theta would be 30, or it would be 150. Well, if I was looking for the principal value, I do capital sine, sine inverse, of 1 half equals 30 degrees. That's the only answer. So principal values just spit out the answer closest to zero. Okay, so not too bad, but once we start introducing negatives, then things get a little bit more muddy. And so I, I drew this number line down here at the bottom to try to help explain this a little bit. So let's do the same thing. Um, we'll look at multiple values first, and then we'll say which one's the principal value. So when is the cosine negative root 3 over 2? Well, uh, negative root 3 over 2 in the x direction would be right here. And so that would be at 150, and it would be at 210. So 150 is located right here on the, on the number line, and 210, if we look down at the number line, is right there. So which one's closer? Well, 150 is. And so if the cosine inverse is negative root 3 over 2, we are going to say the answer to that is 150. Okay. 
Um, for sine, this is where uh, it might be a little bit more confusing. So let me get rid of this stuff here. When is the sine of theta equal to negative one half? And so that's when's the y value negative one half. And so that's going to be right here. And this is at 3.30. Or right here, and this is at 2.10. So if I look down at my number line, 210 is right about here, and 330 is right about here. So it makes sense that you would say 210 is our principal value, but it's not, because that's not the closest answer to zero. In fact, the closest answer to zero is negative 30 degrees. So you can look at what are some negative values that are closer than the two that are given. And so negative 30 is the exact same uh, answer. If you do sine inverse or sine of negative 30, you'll get negative one half. And so you want to take the closest path from zero to one of these two answers. And so the closest answer would be at negative 30. So uh, if the sine is going to be positive or negative, then we will have all possible answers that lie between 90 and negative 90. And we'll talk about this at the end. And the cosine, the x values, those are positive and negative. Here are all the positive cosine values from 0, uh, from the origin to 1, 0. And all the negative cosine values are here, so the principal values for cosine are going to go between 0 and 180. So let's talk about tangent. And tangents, you know, it's, it's kind of similar, but it's, you know, tangent's a little bit trickier because it's sine divided by cosine. <coughs> Excuse me. Which is the y divided by the x. And so when I see the tangent of theta equals negative root 3, I know that I'm dealing with a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So the root 3 over 2 and 1 half because of the root 3, I need to get a root 3 answer. And so if I have this as my y and that is my x, if I do root 3 over 2 divided by 1 half, I can rewrite that as root 3 over 2 times the reciprocal, so 2 over 1, which is just root 3. So I'm looking for this tall 30, 60, 90 triangle on here. And that's going to give me a tangent value of root 3. However, I want it to be negative. So my initial thought is right here at 60 degrees. But that's not going to work because the y is positive and the x is positive. So when you divide those, you get positive. So my answer is going to be right here at 120 because the y is positive and the x is negative. Or I might have an answer down here at 300 degrees because my x is positive and my y is negative. So when you divide those, uh, you get negative root 3. So for this one, theta, for the, you know, the old version of tangent equals negative root 3, we'd have two answers. We'd have 120 and we would have 300. For principal values, so once again, 300 is like right here. 120 is about right here. Principal values are, well, what's the one that's closest? And it's not 120. It's actually, if we look, we can get closer by going negative. So negative 60 degrees is going to work for us. And that's a lot closer to 0 than 120 is. And so the quickest path to one of these two answers would be going from 0 in the negative direction, and that would be negative 60. So let's summarize here. For cosine, all of the principal values are going to fall between 0 and 180. So all of the possible positive and negative x values are going to fall between 0 and 180 for cosine. For sine and tangent, that is going to be between negative 90 and positive 90. And that's why I wanted to show you that number line, because that kind of uh, showed you that the negative 
from 0 to negative 90, those are basically the same as from 270 to 360. Um, it's just a quicker path to get to those. So for principal values, this is really what you need to know. Uh, and you need to know that when you see a capital letter on the sine, cosine, or tangent, that tells you give these values. So that's principal values for sine, cosine, and tangent.